The text we chose is the oldest and most significant for the Jewish people and one of the most important in the world. We wanted to demonstrate how the entire book could be reduced to an almost inconceivable size. We realized that we might have found an interesting way of introducing nanotechnology to the general public. We wanted to encourage people to think about the unbelievably tiny dimensions in which we can create complex systems today to process, store, and share data. The desire to miniaturize is a universal trait that has existed since time immemorial. The miniaturization of drawings and text is a recognized cultural phenomenon. During the Middle Ages across Europe, miniaturized versions of the Christian scriptures were published. There is also a Jewish tradition of micrographic handwriting. Ancient communities wrote on eggshells and grains of rice to symbolize good fortune. This work, produced at the Technion, is displayed in the shrine of the book at the Israel Museum. Our most important scripture is reproduced using the most advanced miniaturization techniques known to science. It is hard for most people to grasp the scope of miniaturization. When we compare the size of our nano Bible, to the Bible that we are all familiar with. This contrast gives us some idea of the degree of miniaturization. Using this innovative technology, we were able to engrave the entire Bible on a surface so small that it can sit on your fingertip. We have created a nano Bible. I find that the link between technology and civilization has great educational value. When we look at history, we see that the two were closely intertwined. Changes or developments in technology lead to cultural change, and cultural change leads to farther technological developments. We produce the platform on which we engrave the Nano Bible in the clean rooms here at the Technion. We take an ultra-flat silicon wafer and coat it with a thin layer of gold. That layer is less than 100 atoms thick. Using advanced tools, we remove gold atoms from the top layer, and this is how we engrave the letters of the Bible. We felt that engraving is the appropriate way to write the Nano Bible, as it has a sort of poetic beauty. Our ancestors used engraving in ancient times as well. In the space of a letter chiseled by hammer 2,000 or 3,000 years ago, we can write today about one million pages of text using our own chisel, which is a focused ion beam. The link between the Nano Bible and the Shrine of the Book is remarkable. This innovative creation, produced with advanced technology, contains the exact same words as those written here in the Dead Sea Scrolls that were created in the Judean desert more than 2,000 years ago. This technology works with the building blocks of our universe. As physicists, we work with the fundamentals of nature, atoms and molecules. Our understanding and control of these elements allow us to produce new materials that don't exist in nature. The size of a molecule is approximately one nanometer, and an atom is about one-tenth of that. To put that scale into context, the ratio of a nanometer to a meter is the same as the ratio of this marble to our entire planet. A DNA molecule, which is two nanometers in diameter, contains all the operating instructions of every living form on our planet. If we could store information as densely as it is stored in DNA, we could be able to compress all the information produced by mankind, all of it, to the size of a sugar cube. The Nano Bible resulted partly from a discussion about the extent to which we could miniaturize, specifically 
how much we could compress into a particular volume. The Bible consists of 1,200,000 letters, and we were able to engrave the whole thing on a surface the size of a grain of sugar. The engraving process uses a focused ion beam. Wherever the beam hits, it creates a tiny indentation. It dislodges the gold atoms that it encounters, exposing the underlying silicon. When the silicon is exposed, that point is dark. It looks black, while the surrounding area looks bright. To write text, particularly biblical text, that beam must be aimed at dot after dot to create the letters, and from them, the words, sentences, chapters, the whole Bible. We're talking about millions of dots, and doing that manually is obviously not practical. So we developed a program that steers the ray and directs it to the desired dots. Using this program, we can inscribe the entire Bible in just an hour and a half. More than any other book, the Bible symbolizes the transmission of human civilization from one generation to another. We tried to connect to the device. We wanted to get people curious about the revolution that is taking place before their eyes. Nanotechnology is our ability to build extremely complex structures from nature's basic building blocks that are the size of a molecule. The real miracle here is the words and their meaning. The written word has survived so many upheavals. Unlike every form of technology, which is destined to be replaced by another, words as a means of conveying humanity's ideas and messages are eternal.